Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries. As we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media, this is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take. How your family, your business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and I will be delivering it every day. We have a very focused show. We only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I feel would benefit you. Let me remind you, if you ever have any more finance-related questions, I am the Consumer Advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call any time for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team, when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. And yes, we are celebrating National Sticky Bun Day today. Oh, get your minds away from there. We're talking about cinnamon rolls, sticky buns, you know, not, not, oh man, unbelievable. I mentioned this to our producers this morning and all of you should see the looks I got, but uh, pieces of leavened dough consist of brown sugar, sometimes called cinnamon. Before the dough is placed in the pan, the pan is lined with sticky, sweet ingredients such as maple syrup, honey, nut, sugar, butter, all of the above. When the buns are finished baking, they are then flipped upside down so that sticky bottom becomes the topping. Where do you like to get those sticky buns at? I just thought we would share that one with you today. It looks very enticing to me. Checking the markets for you, Dow Jones Industrial Average up almost 85 points, 20,709. Oil, 5444 a barrel, that's up $1.04 a barrel, meaning $2.28.1 is the national average of a gallon of gasoline, national average according to the AAA. California, we're paying $2.90 here in the state of confusion, just as you know, we like to pay more. And we'll chat a little bit about in a minute about other things that apparently is the enjoyment or priorities of us here in the state of California. And we know what the priorities, it's people voting. They vote how their priorities are, so we'll understand that one. And we're going to move right along and take a look. Uh, let's get the, what, where are we at? 10-year treasury, it's already been a volatile morning today on the 10-year treasury. So it's been up, been down the markets are moving right along. Two dollars, two point four two percent is the yield on that ten-year Treasury, up ever so slightly. Again, interest rates. We're going to talk a lot about interest rates later in the broadcast today. Just a just a, a issue for you to share a little bit right now. The ten-year Treasury and mortgage rates. Getting into a very, very busy time when it comes to interest rates as we move into or get closer to the second quarter of the year. We're going to chat a lot today about the steps to home ownership. I'm not sure we're going to get through them all today. Big seminar we've got coming up, so our symposium we've got coming up. So I figured I would share some of the highlights with you, give you a little bit of the information as to what we're going to be chatting about at the symposium, some of the steps. And we, you know, you can't in a one hour radio broadcast. There's no possible way of getting all the information in that we will cover in a three-hour event like this. But it's just an issue right there. We want to share with you some of the, the highlights and give you kind of a sneak preview. Uh, bad news once again. Unbelie unbelievable. It just it baffles me how in the state of California we continue to be so, so foolish. And I'm going right to the voters of the state of California because there is a vast majority who continue to do the same thing and expect different results. I am speaking, unfortunately, about the tragedy 
You know, it's tra tragedy. I don't know if it's right. The, hor the horrific events yesterday. Tragedy's usually got something to do with something that's unexpected. Well, in Whittier yesterday, really can't go to the fact that it was unexpected because how do you say it's unexpected when you let criminals out of jail and you elect people who, who they basically tell you what their priorities are. It's not a matter of questioning. We know the priorities of the governor and the elected officials of the state of California are to side with criminals we know that. We saw what happened in San Francisco with Kate Steinle and with Kate's Law. So we know the elected officials are there to side with the criminals. They do that on a regular basis. Then we have these measures that come out and the electorate votes and says, you know something, it's, it, we don't want to keep people in jail that long. We want to let them out. We don't, want to, we don't want our money to go toward building jails. We'd rather save seven Delta smelt. We'd rather build a high-speed train that starts where nobody wants to be and goes to where nobody wants to go. Those are our priorities. Now, we see the, the ground in our country. The, we saw these sinkholes. We talk about 80 or 90-year-old sewers. That's our priority. We don't want to fix those. We want to let people out and, and not take care of these things. We saw the Oroville dam, right? We saw what happened in the Oroville dam. It wasn't even on the governor's target list of $100 billion of what he wants to spend money on. But Prop 47, AB 109, Prop 57, letting crooks out of jail, that's acceptable. And now we see another police officer, police officer in Whittier, is killed yesterday basically because of the policies that we've implemented, the policies that we have voted for as an electorate. We can't blame somebody else. The gang member that did this, we, we had a huge gang problem in California. And all of a sudden, we stop uh, convicting. We, stop, we, we try and ease up everything that has to do with three strikes. And we wonder, why is it that we have people getting out of jail? Why is it that there's more crime that goes on, and we've got these repeat offenders. Well, we keep setting ourselves up for it. If you remember last year before the election, so you can't say it's, a, it's the I told you so syndrome, before the election we had Sheriff Hutchins and Orange County Sheriff in the, on the broadcast with us, and she was very clear saying that we know what's going to happen. These are the issues of what happens when you let crooks out of jail. They belong where they are. They're not getting rehabilitated. They're there because they've caused a problem. They're there because that's where they should be. And try and, you can't be soft on this. The quicker we deal with it, the quicker we get these people off the streets or in some instances out of our country, the safer we're going to be. But no, hey, we look at it and we say, no, it's, it's, it's cruel and unusual. And we want to pay. Think about this one. We have a police officer killed, yet we are paying. We are going to pay. Think about this. We're going to pay Eric Holder $25,000 a month to protect illegal criminals. Now, I don't, you know, the, the illegal aliens that come in here, that's a different issue that we've got to deal with somehow, some way. But the issue of the illegal criminals that are, are in this country, the ones that are the repeat offenders, the ones that have been told they've got to leave, those are the, the people that we need to be dealing with and we've got to get them out of the country. Think about that. Unbelievable. Yet we see what we, we want to protest. You see, yesterday, it's not my president. Well, you know something? Get over it. He's, if he's not your president, why don't you just leave the country? Then he won't be your president. But the rest of us, the majority of the, the electoral college did vote and said, yeah, it is our, our president. He's now we have, well, he didn't win the popular vote. Well, what that basically says is that now, I know he didn't win all the other 49 states, but he ran, won the vast majority of the other 49 states. If you think about this, he, President Trump won the election with, the, he, with a large, large electoral vote, okay? He, the, there was three million, he lost the popular vote by three million. Think about that. He lost the popular vote by three million, and he won in California by four million. 
How do you think that works? If you take California out, it just shows that the rest that, that California is not in line with the rest of the country. The country's not on board the same ways. You see the same thing when you look at Ivanka Trump. Think about that concept. The a number of these places decided, well, we're not going to have Ivanka Trump's product in our stores. Well, one person that's not a fan of the Trump family would be Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon. Yet he might be liking the idea that Ivanka Trump's product is in his, in his business because Ivanka Trump's fragrance is now the number one bestseller on Amazon. Number one. Think about that. So Americans, a vast majority of Americans, are voting with their pocketbook. Then you see Liawatha. That would, yeah, that would be Senator Elizabeth Warren. I refer to her as Liawatha because she's known for lying to people. Well, her big deal in Congress has been the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. What's the benefit of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau? Well, the benefit there, she claims it's to protect people. Well, you know what that means? How you, you translate protecting people when it comes to, the, to Elizabeth Warren, a.k.a. Liawatha? It means they can't buy houses. It means you put the community banks out of business. You put small business out of business. You put small lenders out of business. You even take five out of the ten largest lenders in the country and you put them out of business. That's what Liawatha calls protecting the Americans from predatory lending. Let Americans do what they want to do. Now, predatory lending, what does that mean? It means that if I want to go and spend my money, I can't. Is that what predatory lending means? Think about that. There were a lot of people, and I understand what people want to say about the, uh, the, the, the mortgage meltdown. Well, it was caused by Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter. I've written many articles on it, explaining exactly how they did it. It's just that every president, their, their policies take time to implement and work their way through the system. Liawatha here, her policies have taken time too. But not quite as much time. We saw the increase in the cost of appraisals for all Americans when you buy a house. We've seen the cost of a home loan increase by about 30% because of the policies of Liawatha. We've seen that it's harder for people to get loans that need loans, so they end up losing their houses. Thank you, Liawatha. But you know something? You can't get a higher priced loan because she thinks that she knows more than everybody else. Think about that and understand that, that you, when you take away American liberties, you take away people's possibility of growing. And you know something? How do you think the rich get really rich? Do you think they do it based on government controls? No. They do it based on taking risk. And saying, you know something, I'm willing to risk it all to get where I want to go. There are those people that don't want to risk it all. Nothing wrong with that. Think about that concept. And then you get the concept of these others who say, oh, we can't have the media telling us these things because it's against the First Amendment. Hogwash. Did you hear the president last week? He was talking a, a quite a bit, blasting the media. Well, he wasn't trying to halt their First Amendment rights. He was, what he wants to do is have a media that tells people the truth. Now, if it means stopping somebody's First Amendment right to lie, I didn't notice that in the First Amendment. It says freedom of speech. It doesn't say freedom to lie. And when the media does not tell the people the truth, that is the media is just thinking that they have the right to lie. They have the right to do what they want. And I would say three cheers for the president for going right after them in those blasts. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, we will be talking about 10 steps to home ownership. Is this the year to move up to your dream home? If so, do it right away. Are mortgage rates rising? Filing your taxes for the first time? We've got some tips for you on that as well. Remember, you can reach us anytime, our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio, on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. The replay is available, though, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. 
Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey, and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. What if your family business could help clothe a less fortunate family? Or your restaurant could feed truly hungry people? What if you could help to comfort the lonely? Plant sustainable resources where nothing has ever grown before. Or make a child's lifelong wish come true. What if all you had to do was simply do nothing more than what your business already does every day? Would you do it? Introducing Processing for a Cause. A unique program that turns a percentage of your business's credit card volume into ongoing donation dollars for nonprofit organizations and foundations. Simply switch your credit card processing provider to Processing for a Cause and begin supporting a worthy cause today. The process is simple and the cause will change lives forever. Processing for a Cause. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime. At 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, the real time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text NEST, N E S T, to 79564. NEST, N E S T, to 79564. Get the true equity position of your real estate. Sorry about that. That's actually the NEST gets you, PAIR, pair gets you the equity position, P E A R. But NEST will get you that home search. Find your dream home before someone else does. Is this the year to move up to your dream home? Ah, if it is, I would do it right away. It appears that Americans are regaining faith in the U.S. economy. The following indices have each shown a dramatic jump in consumer confidence in their latest surveys. The University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index. The National Federation of Independent Businesses Small Business Optimism Index. CNBC's All-American Economic Survey. The Conference Board Consumer Confidence Surveys. It usually means good news for the housing market when the country sees an optimistic future. People begin to dream again about their home, their family has always wanted, and some make plans to finally make that dream come true. If you're considering moving up to your dream home, it may be better to do it earlier in the year than later. The two components of your monthly mortgage payment, home prices and interest rates, are both projected to increase as the year moves forward and interest rates may increase rather dramatically. 
Here are some predictions on rates, where rates will be by the end of the year. HSH.com, we think that conforming 30-year fixed rates probably make it into the 4.625 to 4.75% range at some point during 2017. Svenja Goodell, Zillow's chief economist, I wouldn't be surprised if the 30-year fixed rate mortgage hits 4.75%. Mark Fleming, the chief economist at First American. I see mortgage rates getting much closer to 5% at the end of next year. Lawrence Yoon, NAR, Chief Economist. By this time next year, expect the 30-year fixed rate to be likely in the 4.5% to 5% range. The bottom line, if you're feeling good about your family's economic future and are considering making a move to your dream home, do it sooner rather than later makes the most sense. That is the real-time real estate segment again brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Get that dream home. So I wanted to share with you uh, the upcoming symposium that we're going to be doing. Has We're going to be talking about 10 steps to home ownership. And if you follow these 10 steps in the order that I share them with you, you might have a little bit less stress. And first thing I'm going to share with you that you need to be doing is get a credit report. Get a copy of your credit report. Very, very important that you have a copy, not of the Vantage report, and not at, I I send people all the time to a source called creditkarma.com. And I tell people straight out, and a lot of people don't understand this, even though I tell them over and over again, Credit Karma gives you an idea of what your score's trajectory is. It's not necessarily a true FICO score or a mortgage FICO score. Maybe it's a credit card score. It's a Vantage score. It's not going to necessarily be the same. I just had somebody the other day that I was counseling and they they paid off some debts and they sent me a note and said, hey, Ron, I just looked at my credit karma. I'm up over 720. And then they had their mortgage credit pulled and it was 654. Not the same thing. They're not always going to be the same. The, the, the credit karma score is showing a trajectory, not an absolute FICO score. You got to pay to get that FICO score. Now, the in many, where do you, how do you pay for it? Well, you're going to pay for it in one of a few ways. Either a lender, a mortgage lender will pay for it, or maybe the credit card companies are paying for it. General, or you can go to another site and put in a credit card and pay for it. Annualcreditreport.com, I believe, will sell that to you, what your FICO score is. Again, they never ask you that. I've, I've never seen it where they've asked anyway. What which FICO do you want? Do you want a mortgage FICO? Do you want an auto FICO? Do you want a credit card FICO? They don't generally ask that part of it. They just say, well, here's your FICO score. There are basically nine different FICO scores. You're going to get the TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian scores. And then you're going to have, those are the three main credit aggregators or collection bureaus. There's others, but those are the three main ones. And then each of them will provide a score based on what the industry is looking for. Now, mortgage looks for an, for a report based generally on what Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae are requiring of them. Autos look for what their own industries are. They're not necessarily governed by these government-sponsored entities, so they don't have to necessarily follow the same exact guidelines. And they're not looking. They're going to look and see: Are you paying your car bills? Are you paying revolving debt? They don't necessarily look as much or pay as much weight to how are you dealing with your mortgages or mortgage. That's just not part of their issue. So you want to make sure that you're getting a credit report. You want to make sure that that credit report is accurate. Now, I'm here to tell you it's not. I've never seen one that's completely accurate. I saw some reports yesterday that were in the 800s. Now, you don't, you very rarely do I see credit reports where husband and wife both have all six scores in the 800s. Very, very rare. I did see that yesterday. I looked at the report a little more in depth, and sure enough, there are errors on the report. What, how do I know that there's errors on the report? Well, when you go to do a loan for Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae, they're going to ask you to identify or, or explain certain errors. 
That's how you know that they're there. So it's really simple. I look at the report. I say, okay, well, I, why do you have 17 names on here? Why do you have 14 addresses on here? You told me you haven't moved in 50 years, yet you've got all these addresses. Well, they've got to be explained. Why is that? Well, maybe they're, they're putting it down as an address of the borrower, yet the borrower was co-signing for a child or grandchild. That's not doesn't mean it's their address. It means that it was an address used for a loan. And there are certain, there's a family community loans where under certain circumstances, child can get a loan for a parent or for their child and call it a primary residence, even though they don't plan on moving into it. There's certain guidelines that make that totally acceptable within the, within the bureaus. But a lot of people don't understand that part of it. That's why we have to look at the credit report, get the errors off the report. If you have a lot of addresses, that's showing instability. That might hurt your scores a little bit. If it's not showing the correct amount of time you've had each of your credit cards, that can hurt your scores a little bit. If it's got some late payments on there. Had another one where they were in a loan modification. During all three months of the loan modification trial period, it never showed them as making a payment. Yet when you look at a mortgage history, it does have payments every one of those months. Those are errors that need to be corrected from the credit report. If you start that early, three months, six months, 12 months before you start looking at a home or looking for a home, you can get those issues corrected. And in many instances, correcting the report will increase your credit score. An increased credit score in almost every instance will give you a better interest rate. Think about that concept. That's going to be the first step of looking for your dream home or buying your dream home, you are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, continuing our conversation, 10 Steps to Home Ownership. I don't think we're going to get through all of them today, but we will continue them on. And we're also going to talk about mortgage rates rising. We'll see. Filing your taxes for the first time. Here's what you need to know about that. Remember, you can reach us anytime. Off air number 800-306-1990-800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. But the replay is available, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Siegel Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. If your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. 
Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Do you own real estate or have assets over $150,000? Do you know one of your heirs will be the probate courts and the IRS? If you don't have a living trust, you will go through probate. Call Heritage Financial Services toll-free at 1-855-434-7400 for a free review. Check us out on Facebook, Heritage Financial Service in Lake Forest, California. That's 1-855-434-7400. Again, 1-855-434-7400. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 306 1990, the Mortgage Minute today, brought to you by our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that new mortgage, Gold Star has the programs, the products available for you. Everything from a VA loan, no money down, a single family home. Maybe you're looking for a traditional conventional loan, 5% down, no mortgage insurance. Products are there. Jumbo loans, they've got those as well. Are mortgage rates rising? Low interest mortgage rates can't last forever, can they? If you've taken out a mortgage or refinanced a mortgage recently, you may have done so because you anticipated that rates would rise. Are rates rising? And are they expected to continue to rise? Let's take a look at mortgage rate trends. When rates rise, what causes mortgage rates to rise? The rates on mortgages tend to rise and fall in tandem, not exactly, but yet generally, with the yield on the 10-year treasury bonds. That's why I share that with you so frequently. When the bond yield rises, mortgage rates tend to rise. So are mortgage rates and 10-year treasury bond rates the same? Nope. Treasury bonds are seen as safer investments than mortgages or securitized packages of mortgages because the risk that the U.S. federal government will default on treasury bonds is considered to be nil. For that reason, rates on mortgages are generally higher than the yields on 10-year treasury bonds. For investors to take on risk of investing in mortgages, higher rates have to act as an enticement. Rates on mortgages are therefore consistently higher than treasury yields though the two numbers are related. And as I've shared with you in the past, another issue or another component in there on the, on the mortgages, not only are you dealing with risk of default from the consumer, but the mortgage banking companies and the, and the, the depository banks have to deal with the risk of un, unfettered um, liability from the CFPB. Remember, I talked to you about that in the opening segment, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. The district court in Washington, D.C. just came out and said basically that the head of the CFPB is an untouchable. Congress can't really do much with them. And the President of the United States doesn't have oversight over him, can't fire him unless it's for cause. Think about that. It it sounds to me like it's something that's going to end up going to the Supreme Court Because how in this country can there be anybody that has ultimate authority without having a check and balance? But remember I told you about Liawatha before? Yeah, Senator Elizabeth Warren? Well, this is her organization that she's the champion of, is the CFPB. And it's why you're paying right now, even though I shared with you earlier the concept of where the 10-year treasury is and the fact that right now it's at 2.5%. Oh, roughly 2.42. That's why interest rates are two full, just about, maybe not, but one and a half to two points higher than that. Now, generally, they're not that much higher than the 10 year treasury. They're generally a half to 1% higher than the 10 year treasury. But because of the risk factor of the CFPB, lenders are putting more of a reserve factor in there or a risk factor that. 
What happens if they have some sort of a problem with the CFPB? What are they going to do? Where are they going to go? Well, that's where that money's going to. That's why you're paying more for these numbers than you probably would otherwise. And you can say thank you to Liawatha and some of the others that are champion, the CH CFPB. I think Maxine Waters out here, Nancy Pelosi, they're all in favor of that. Well, we see what happens when we follow California politicians, what, you know, what happens there, but that's just another issue. That is the Mortgage Minute, again, brought to you by our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. Go online, get your home loan application in right now, see where you stand, mbelinks.com forward slash O-L-L-A, mbelinks.com forward slash O-L-L-A. It'll take you to the web app page for our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. You can get started right away. Again, that's the Mortgage Minute. So we're continuing our conversation this morning. We're chatting about steps for home ownership and not moving along very quickly. We talked a little bit about getting your credit report checked. Next step, get pre-qualified, maybe even the fast pass, again, from our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. I think they're the only ones that have the fast pass program. Totally underwritten loan. So the idea here is after you've got your credit report corrected and you've maximized the score based on having an, a, a, a report that's as accurate as possible, you want to get pre-qualified or pre-underwritten is even better. That's the idea of sitting down with a loan officer. You get started on that link that I just told you, MBE links, maryboyedwardlinks.com forward slash O-L-L-A, or you can go to the Apply Now button on the SiegelLendingTeam.com website, goldstarmortgage.co, forget the M. All of those places will get you right there to the website where you can check and see. You can get started get to, to get pre-qualified. Now, this is not pre-approved. The idea here is what you want to do is get as much done as early as possible. So if you get that loan application in, you get all the supporting documents in, and you get it underwritten, well, then your, your real estate agent, which we'll talk about in a moment, will be able to go and get started and make an offer on your behalf without a loan contingency. Now, when they do that without a loan contingency, that makes your offer stronger than almost everybody else because it's like a same as cash offer. All that you're really wanting at that point is you need to get a appraisal and you need to have a clear title. Other than that, from a lending standpoint, everything is all done. Now, you're going to have all the other inspections that we'll talk about in a minute. But the idea here is the lender has already looked at all of your supporting documents. See, when you go and apply for a loan, they can look at it and they can say, they can say yeah, they're qualified. And then they run the automated underwriting system and they say, yeah, we've got an automated underwriting system, approve eligible or, you know, approve. it's basically there's two different systems. I don't want to get in the weeds here, but they're going to tell you that you've got an approved eligible borrower. What does that mean? Well, just a little bit more than the qualification, but it doesn't mean that everything's been verified. See, the first part of the loan application process is to collect all the data. Then you have to, then an underwriter is going to go through and verify all the data, make sure it's all in proper order and fits the guidelines that are set by the investor. And in many instances, they're going to follow what's called Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac guidelines. When they follow the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac guidelines and, they, and an underwriter has gone through and signed off, or the Jenny Mae guidelines, if it's an FHA loan or, or VA loan, they're going to go through and check out all of the different guidelines and make sure, okay, the items that are on the credit report are flowing through properly. Yeah, I, I see on the credit report that there's a student loan on there, but there's no payment associated. Well, you've got to add one to the, the documentation in most instances. And has that been done properly? And was it done before the automated underwriting was done? Well, that gets checked, verified, signed off on. Well, you've sent in your pay stubs. Have we got a verification of employment? Do we need a verification of employment? Did they put down the unreimbursed employee expenses from your tax returns into the automated underwriting or didn't they? Or do they need to? 
Maybe there's some 1099s, K1s, uh, other businesses, other business tax returns that need to be reviewed. All of that stuff is being done by the underwriters before you get that fast pass approval. Once that's all done, the underwriter is going to come back and say, here are the conditions that we need to approve the loan, if it can be approved. When they go and get those conditions back, the approval conditions, well, now you go, the, the loan officer or the loan coordinator or processor is going to go back to you, the borrower, and say, these are the items that we need to get your loan fully approved. Collect those documents, they resubmit them, and now they've got a conditionally a, a, a loan that's ready to go to docs. The only thing they're missing, it's going to probably be conditioned on clear appraisal, make sure that there's no health and safety issues, make sure the property value is, the, which is the collateral for the lender, make sure that's all acceptable, and they're going to be ready to move forward as a fully underwritten loan. We'll talk more about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Also going to talk about filing your taxes for the first time. Here are some things that you need to know. You can reach us anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Radio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. But the replay is available, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube, Ron Siegel, the numeral one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. In the middle of our... Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Isn't it time you found out the truth about FHA insured home equity conversion? No, it's not your grandfather's reverse mortgage. This just may be the finest financial planning strategy available for all homeowners of retirement age. Helping protect what you've earned is the job of your board of directors with continued education. Major research has shown that using a HECM will significantly enhance the success rate of a retiree's portfolio and legacy. Please allow us to educate. For your complimentary consultation, call Jay Kaplan at 949-300-3855. That's 949-300-3855. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145-502 and CalBRE 0186-9452 and one 866 You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. 
Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. Filing your taxes for the first time? Here's what you need to know about that. Um, that's the subject of today's Word on Wealth segment brought to you by AskAboutReverseMortgages.com. Are you 62 years of age or older? Equity in your property? Maybe you want to buy a new house with no mortgage payment for life? AskAboutReverseMortgages.com has those opportunities for you. So if you are preparing for tax day, it doesn't have to be overwhelming if you're a first-time filer, even if it appears everyone around you is scrambling to understand future tax policies and meet their deadlines. This year, tax day is April 18th. But first-time filers should start preparing their documents now and find a tax professional to work with. If they're not going to do it yourself, I'm going to suggest do not do the do-it-yourself process, but there's a lot of people that just don't listen. More than 153 million tax returns are expected this year, according to the Internal Revenue Service, and 32 million have already filed their 2017 returns as of the 10th of February. Total tax return volume through January 27th was down 33% from a year ago, according to Intuit, which provides tax preparation software. And think about this. You're required to file your taxes if your gross income in 2016 was at least $4,050. Don't wait for expected tax policy changes from President Trump either. Trump has pledged to lower tax rates for just about everybody but those changes would not go into effect for taxes to be filed right now. Those are for the 2000, by next year, 2018's tax filing, which is 2017 tax year. The Harvard Business School professor Clayton Christensen developed the famous jobs to be done theory to explain consumer behavior. He he talked to us about how his jobs to be done theory can be explained can also explain Donald Trump's rise to power. Here are a few things first time filers can do this year to maybe get some money back. Be careful of making rookie mistakes. If you have unpaid student loans and aren't meeting your monthly payments, the IRS will use your federal tax refund to pay down the debt, said David Lopez, a certified public accountant and member of the American Institute of CPAs. The Treasury Offset Program receives notices of delinquent debts from creditor creditor agencies, such as the Department of Education. Other debts include child support or state income tax. So long as you're paying your money on time, your refund is yours to do with what you will. That's why I tell you, talk to your tax preparer and make sure you are paying as close to zero as far as the the balance due at the end of the year as possible. They don't want to have a big redu- a big uh, return to you. You don't want to have a big reduction to them or, or debt to them. So you know, that's why talking to a professional is the best thing. Know the deductions that are available to you. Along with student loan deductions, there are a few other tax breaks. First time filers should be aware of including certain deductions and tax credits, tax advantageous accounts, their moving expenses, job-related costs. You can get you a list from the IRS of a whole bunch of these things. There's a lot on there, so make sure you do your homework and talk to a professional. Otherwise, you may not even know the right questions to ask because that's their job is to ask you enough questions to get you all the money that you're entitled to returned. That's the Word on Wealth segment again brought to you by Ask about reversemortgages.com. So we are continuing our conversation with the 10 steps to home ownership. We've talked already about getting your credit report corrected. We want to make sure that you have an accurate report. We've talked a little bit about getting pre-approved, pre-qualified, or pre-qualified, pre-approved, or the fast pass. Any one of those is going to be much better for you than where you are right now. So we want to make sure that you are getting the program that is best for you. Think about all of the different options that are on here. Then you don't want to, once you get your fast pass, and again, I'm going to suggest that you need to have the fast pass. Very, very important. So get that program, get that going. 
and 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 have that ready so that you can partner with a real estate professional. Now, where do you find a great real estate professional? And this is the one that's going to really kill a lot of people. Think about this. The idea... I had just heard this one the other day. It was such a stupid commercial that I'm sure that, and I'm sure there's a lot of people falling for it. Talking about the idea that people find their home on the internet. Yeah, I know that. I gave you that free tool. Text NEST, N-E-S-T to 79564. Got that free tool for you to find your dream home before somebody else does. I get it. The home is on the internet. And this dumb commercial says, well, why do you need the MLS when you've got the internet? Well, where do you think a lot of this stuff on the internet is getting populated from? It's coming from the MLS. Now, if you go to Zillow, if you go to Trulia, if you go to Realtor.com, all of those are populated from the, from the MLS. Now, there are other ways to populate that as well. But think about this. Over 80% of the people buy their homes from a realtor. Do you think a realtor, and this commercial is talking about that you can get it done, you can, you can sell your house for 2%. Well, think about the concept here. It's your largest asset, the mortgage, your largest liability, and you're looking to do that to the cheapest bidder. Really? Don't you, do, 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 when you look to have a surgery to go to a, a cardiologist or to knee surgery or you break a hip or you break your arm, have a skiing accident. Do you go and interview doctors and surgeons based on who's the cheapest? No. You want somebody that's going to take care of you, who understands what the process is and can take you by the hand and get you the best result. Well, that's the same thing with real estate. You want the absolute best result. That's what you're looking for. You're not looking for cheap you can get cheap anywhere, right? You want the best. So you want to deal with a realtor who knows the market, who understands the negotiations. See that dumb website that says, oh, we'll put it on the internet for you. Are they going to negotiate the contract for you also? Do they know where the roadblocks are? Do they know how to help you navigate the roadblocks? Are they setting the price for you? Are they helping guide you to what the best price is? Nine out of 10 people will list their homes this coming spring with the wrong price. Nine out of 10. Many of them are going to do it with a realtor as well because what they're going to do is they're going to say, I want to maximize my sales price. And that is exactly right. The method of maximizing the sales price is not to list it at the highest price you can expect to get. The way you maximize your sales price is by listing it below market below market and having a great team working with you because you're listing it below market. Think about all of this, okay? When you list it at the highest price possible, do you think everybody's going to come and look? Do you think that everybody goes to Neiman Marcus to start their shopping for a, a new suit or a new dress? Uh, there's some people, but not everybody. Some people know right off that they can't afford Neiman Marcus. Nothing wrong with that. So they don't even go there. Some people, when they look at the price of your home, when you put it at the highest end of the market, they know they can't afford it. So they don't come and show up. Now, if you have the same exact dress that's selling at Neiman Marcus for X dollars, maybe it sells at Neiman Marcus for $1,000, and the exact same dress is available at Macy's, for $800. Do you think more people are going to see it at Macy's or at Neiman Marcus? Now, a few people, when somebody's going to go and buy it, if that's, if that's their market, their, their price, they might go to Macy's and they might pay $800 for it because they figured they can afford that. They never went to Neiman Marcus. They don't know. Now, the person that did go to Neiman Marcus, they didn't go to Macy's. So they don't know it was cheaper. They just paid $1,000 for it. And they see somebody at the, at the event, both wearing the same dress. They think they both paid the same price. One knows, hey, I got it a lot cheaper. I didn't go to Neiman Marcus. Same concept with the house, right? If you've got a house and you think and you want to get six fifty for it, and you put it out for seven hundred and think you'll negotiate down, anybody that was a six hundred thousand dollar buyer is not going to stretch because they didn't even see it because it's listed at seven hundred thousand. 
The people that are a six hundred thousand buyer, six hundred thousand dollar buyer, there's going to be more of them. You get them competing with each other, so they're going to be up there in the same thing. When you're buying a home, these are all the same things that are happening. Your your realtor will know that this is what's being done to or for you. Think about that. So they've got the experience to know. Hey, you know something? That property is priced under market. We might not want to go there because I know there's going to be a bidding war and it's not in your best interest. That dumb website's not going to tell you those things. The websites are a great place for you to do some homework so that you can go educated a little bit better to a realtor who's going to know even more than you do. Didn't get through all the 10 steps. We got through two of them. We'll get through more. On, on broadcast later in the week, you're listening to Ron Siegel Radio. Or actually, being that with time's up, we want to make sure you set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to John, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800 306 1990 or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio.